Hey everybody, welcome to Meddling World today. We're here at Disney Springs because we're gonna be trying some of the awesome holiday snacks they're offering here. We're gonna try several of them. We'll do some reviews and we'll let you know how good they are. So come on in, check it out. So guys, our first stop today, Gideon's Bakehouse because yes, they do have some specials here for December and I can't wait to try. I think we're gonna try both of them. We're gonna get the Kris Kringle and the Krampus Cookies, limited time flavors for December. And today, guys, actually here at Gideon's, well, it is, let's see, what is it? It's a Thursday right before our last day of November and no virtual line today. So regular standby line, Roberta, Jake, and may from brazil are here they're gonna help us do some of these snacks so let's get in line and let's go try these cookies so we're getting ready to grab our cookies i have many many vlogs here inside gideon's if you're interested in really seeing all about gideon's you can check it out right on meddling world on the playlist but for now let's grab our specialty cookies and then head outside so we got what cold brew do we oh, get look here at the santa the sa no it's right here in the cookie Oh, Roberta's <laughs> telling me go look at Santa. No, at, at first glance, it kind of looks like Grogu. But no, it's not. It's from Gideon's. So what is this cold brew we have here, Roberta? That's like a chocolate mint. Chocolate mint. And then, of course, we have the two cookies. Let's find a spot and let's get rating these nice treats. Feast your eyes on the Chris Kringle and the Krumpus. All right, so let's start with the Krumpus. What do we have here? We have, Roberta. The darkest chocolate with a blast of cooling Andes mint. Let's that get right good. in it. I think what we'll do is Jake and I will do the Krumpus, and Roberta and May will do the Kris Kringle. Okay, just eat it. Yeah, Jake, yeah. what do you got? Mm. I remember this one from last year, and I, I believe I liked it. Let me get right in it. Roberta's got the cookie waiting for me. Mm-hmm. Chocolate, salt, mint, that hits everything. Nine out of ten. Actually, 9.2 out of ten. I really like it. I agree with Jake. I mean, if you love chocolate, it's very well-balanced cookie. Finally, I think the last couple months I was struggling with a good cookie from uh, Specialty Cookie from... Gideon's this month. Oh, that one is great. It's got the Andes candies. No. 10 out of 10. Jake, had, Jake is giving it a 10. I absolutely love it. Everything very well balanced. I love the chocolate. And then the hint of the Andes candies always reminds me of being at my grandma Medling's house when I was a kid. She always had those Andy candies out. Oh, if you like Andy's candies, you're going to love this cookie. The chocolate's awesome. Little bit, I taste a little bit of sea salt on there too. Oh, it's very good. 9.5 out of 10 for me on the Chris Kringle. And guys, I want to remind everybody, please take a moment, subscribe to Meddling World if you haven't yet. We're going to do our next cookie, and then we're going to go somewhere else and try some more snacks. So we have the Chris Kringle. This is a white vanilla bean cookie. Is that correct, Roberta? Yeah. And Roberta already has. I see a little bit. She snuck a little bite. Roberta did. Roberta and her mom are going to try this one out. Wow. Let's go ahead, let them try that. And guys, if you are familiar with Meddling World, if you've been a subscriber for a while, you're gonna remember May from Brazil. We're welcome back for the Christmas holiday here. May is enjoying it. Roberta, what are you thinking? Look at that thing though, look at that on top. Oh, wow. Now that Roberta's had a time to digest this, and look, she's going for another little bite. What do you think, Roberta? May going for another round. Mike, exhaustion. We speak in Portuguese on Meddling World today. Oh, muito bom. Very good. May is giving it a very good, so that means it's nice. And Roberta, what do you got? It's amazing. Roberta's saying it's, so it's amazing. Good. Look at it. Love to look at the texture in there. It's amazing. Uh, Jake got my face. So, the cook is good. The white, it's like a white kind of chocolate bean. Yes, it, it's amazing. Very well balanced, it's like the sugar on the top, everything goes together. For me, it's nine and a half out of 10. Wow. We got a 10 on the other cookie. Damn. I got a nine and a half. Damn. Damn. And a 10. Wow. 
Guys, you gotta get down to Gideon's this month and try the both specialty cookies. Some of the best cookies, I think, in the last several I, months. I wanna try. Oh, May, so oh, look much. at May. May has gone in. Now, guys, I call, May's name is actually Ebby. But yeah. we call, I call May because in Portuguese, my accent's real bad, but May is kind of like translation to mom. What do you think, May? I prefer these. The white okay, one. so May is preferring, of course, she gave eight. it a 10. Eight. An eight. eight. May is giving an eight to the chocolate one, so. I agree. I really love it. I agree. I prefer, I prefer, the, the I prefer that one. All right, let's try the coffee, guys. Jake's gonna go in, and this is a, uh, let me find out exactly what this coffee is. It's a specialty, a chocolate mint yeah, for the holiday. Chocolate kettle. Give it up seven and a half. And now, and now my eyes feel like feathers. <laughs> yeah, the coffee is just okay. I think they have better specialty coffees. Let me mix it a little bit and try first. Let me try one more sip. I'll give a quick rating on this so we can move on. I think we're gonna hit Amaretz next. Okay, well, there's not a lot of mint. There's not a lot of mint. This is just a tad of mint flavoring. I can taste the chocolate, but it's not very well balanced. And it really doesn't have much of a coffee taste. It's more like a chocolatey drink. I'm only, I, I agree with you, Jake. 7.5 on the cold brew this month. Cookie's much better, but let's head to our next spot. As we are making our way over to Amaret, one of that our- That cookie was amazing. We did try the other cookie. I did try a bite. Probably the, Both one of the great. best, probably one of the best months I have ever experienced. You heard it from Jake and you guys know, Jake is an excellent food critic here on Meddling World. So yeah, Good it's- Good job, Gideon's. Gideon's hit it out of the park for the holiday cookies, guys. Get down and try those for sure. We're gonna make our way on a beautiful last day of November, November 30th, gorgeous day. Roberta and May just enjoying hanging out today. I know it's about the snacks, but we love to bring you on the adventure in Meddling World. I want to remind everybody one more time, please take a moment, subscribe to Meddling World if you haven't yet. We have arrived at Amaretz, and here's some of the different holiday offerings. I'm not sure which one we're gonna get. Hot cocoa cream brulee, gingerbread cheesecake, holiday sweets petite cake, Christmas tree cream puff, and the cookies and milk eclair. All look very good. Let's go find out what we're gonna get. There is the sweet petite cake. Check that thing out, man, is that fancy. It's like a work of art, $22 for that one. And Roberta concentrating on what she wants to get. Yeah. Have a nice look there. There is the eclair and the Christmas tree puff. Oh, they do have some cookies, some gingerbread cookies as well back there. Oh, a package of two is eight dollars. And there's the gingerbread cheesecake, which sounds pretty amazing. And oh, I know Roberta loves cream brulee. You guys can take a look at that one. Let's see what we end up getting. Oh wow, I think May and Roberta got a good pick here. We got, I think that's the cream brulee, Roberta. Yeah, the, the hot chocolate cream brulee. And this is the pistachio puff. Yeah, the Christmas tree puff. Oh, let's dig in and try these guys. I want to see how the puff is because usually they fall apart pretty bad. Let's see. Roberta and her mom are going to try these. Yeah, it looks like it's That's falling okay. apart. <laughs> oh, no, actually, it stayed together pretty well. I think that's cranberry, thing, I think. Oh, look at that. That looks really good. Roberta is getting... Go right in, Roberta. Get it. Oh, yes. And May. May's going in for the bite. Oh, it looks like fish. I'll show you guys what it looks like a little bit better in there in the yeah. middle. Oh yeah. That's true. <laughs> well, Roberta will let us know what it tastes like. What do you got, Roberta? Very light. Very light taste. <clears throat> I don't taste a lot of pistachio. It's more like a, a sweet cream, but it's very light. It's very good. I like it. Vanilla doesn't taste a lot of pistachio. Delicia. And May's giving it a delicious. Mm -hmm. And Roberta, what's your score on it though? I would say it's an eight and a half. I just wish it would have more taste of pistachio because that's what they're selling. Yeah. It's still very good. It's just that I wish it would have more taste of pistachio. All right, sounds good. Jake and I, let's get right into this cream brulee. Jake wasting no time with the hot chocolate cream brulee. Oh, I love the toasted marshmallows yeah. on top. And Jake, oh yeah, you gotta break that. Oh, Roberta is even getting a little bit in. That's for you. Oh, she's getting in. 
<laughs> She's getting me my bite. Um, but I love to show the consistency. Oh, there you go. Oh, that looks awesome. That looks awesome. Let's try it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it tastes chocolate and roasted marshmallow, except the flavor doesn't really last too long for me. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's really good. Very pudding-y, though. If you like pudding, like chocolate pudding, it's good, but it's got that nice cream brulee top that you can break through. I taste more chocolate than cream, but the top is good. Yeah, no, it's got a good mix, but mostly you're gonna taste a lot of chocolate. A lot of the hot chocolate taste. Jake, I'm gonna give it, I'll give it an eight. Yeah, what do you got? I'll give it a seven and a half. Seven and a half from Jake. And Robert, Roberta says we're out of our minds. What do you got, Roberta? This is a nice nine and a half. So a very big variety. So it depends really what you what you choose oh as a flavor. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I think that's a better than the other one. As we got the rolling piano going by, guys, for the holidays, in case it got a little loud there. So lots of fun activities going on here. I'm gonna try to cream puff anyway. I was trying to save time on the vlog, but I got to try the cream puff. I did try the cream puff. I did like the cream puff better than the hot chocolate green brulee. Uh, I wanted to show you the princess and the frog tree while you're here. Just in case you missed our vlog, we do the entire Christmas tree stroll. I'll drop a link in the description of the video if you're interested in seeing all about the Christmas tree stroll. We give you all the information. We do all the trees and we give you our top three picks of trees. But as I was saying, the cream puff I really liked it was just very light, like Roberta said. Uh, nice taste to it. Not a lot, a lot of pistachio taste, but still very good. Um, and I think that's gonna wrap it up. We just had five different snacks, yeah. and we're pretty full. Uh, it was so good. <laughs> but I love the. It's called the strolling piano, which I like because of the Christmas tree stroll. Pretty cool. Oh, that's nice. I'll wrap up this vlog in one minute because I don't think you guys can hear me very well right here. But a little bit more of him first. Oh, yeah, guys, please take a moment. Subscribe to Meddling World if you haven't yet. Thank you to our patrons. I hope you enjoyed our vlog today with some different snack choices here at Disney Springs for your holiday fun. And last but not least, see you.